How's it going everyone? My name is Fanstaff and welcome. Today I'll show you guys how to use World Guard. Yeah, so let's get straight into it. Alright, as you can see, I made a little house here. And the uh, yellow line indicates where I'm gonna put the area. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is uh, get your wand. Your, your World Guard wand. You can also just grab it from creative inventory it doesn't really matter and then you want to mark out wait yeah like this mark out your region so take one corner and grab the other corner now you have marked your region um, so now you want to define it you want to actually make a region and you do that by typing rg define and we're just gonna call it house so now we have a region here called house and uh, there's just one thing you gotta keep in mind is that if you mark your region as I just did people can actually build above and go above your region and do whatever they want and they can go below it if you don't want people to do that if you want your people to go all the way or if you want your region to go all the way from bedrock to the, the top of the of the world you just before you define your region you just do expand vert which takes your selection and pretty much just expands it all the way to the top and to bedrock and then you can do RG define house but in this scenario it doesn't really matter for me so I'm just gonna keep it like this all right so now we're gonna mess with some flags in our region here. I have Nikki here with me to test things out. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the studio. All right, so right now I have done nothing. The only thing I've done is make the region. So, and now Nikki shouldn't be able to do anything. So can you, you can't press some pressure plates and click on buttons, mm -hmm. open doors, no, uh, destroy grass, uh, or destroy blocks in general. Hit me. I can. She can't do anything. So now let's enable a few things. So what you want to do is you want to type RG. Then you want to type flag. Then your region name. And then whatever flag you want to add. So let's start with PVP. And we can allow that. Now PVP is allowed inside the region of course. So now you can hit me here. Yeah, you can. And we can disable that by either completely removing the flag by just typing PVP and enter. Or we can also do a PVP deny. And hit me. I so can. She, she can't now. Alright. If you want people to press on pressure plates and buttons and all that stuff, you want to use the flag called use. And put that to allow. And now you should be able to click and stuff. Yeah, it works. And open the door. Right? Yeah. But you still can't access the chest or no, the I furnace. Can't. If you want people to access your chest and your furnace, you want to do the flag called chest, then a dash, and then access. And we want to allow that. And now you can open the chest. Yep. And you can also open the furnace. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, and what more? Oh yeah, you can't destroy anything, can you? No, no, I can't. If you want can't. people to be able to destroy things, you can do block, then another dash, and then break allow. Hell no. yeah. And if you want people to be able to place blocks as well, it's pretty obvious, you just do place block place allow and then she can pretty much build and place whatever she wants now another thing i want to show you guys is that you can disable tnt in your region if you don't want people to be blowing stuff up that's pretty easy as well just do tnt and deny so try and light in tnt right here i can you can't even place it can you place mm -hmm. another block yeah, yeah. See, see, she can't even place it. 
that's that's basically the most basic flags you can do. You can also there's also a, a, a few other neat commands. You can do RG list to list all your regions. You can click on this little info here and then it displays all the info for your region, all the flags that are set. And actually if you press on the green flags here, it displays all the flags that are possible. And if you want for example, PvP to be allowed, you can just click here on allow and then it allows it. And there's a lot of things you can do. Anyway, that was pretty much all I wanted to show you guys in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to tell all your grandmas to slap that like button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, yeah. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs>